Yo, what's up guys, and welcome to a brand new Hardcore Iron Man series. For those of you new to my channel, um, I did die on my most recent Hardcore Iron Man. I was ranked 19 at the time, so it did, it did suck pretty bad, but I did decide to restart. Um, I'm not going to quit playing my Iron Man, though, if, if, if people are wondering about that. Uh, I should have a video out in the next couple days, a new uh, progress video to that. And for those of you that aren't new to my channel, I'm sorry this has taken so long to get out. Uh, after I died, I did take a few days uh, a few days break off of RuneScape just because I was, you know, a little discouraged and, you know, a little burnt out. But um, I still, even with that, I still plan to get this video out a few days ago, but I actually have died twice since my big prime death. Uh, both because I was just trying to rush back. Uh, my first death, it wasn't that big of a deal. It was only, I was only two hours in. I did the witch's house quest and then I, um... Went to do waterfall and I didn't get the skeleton to box me because I was like, fine, I have 24 HP. And uh, the moss giant hit me for 12 and then 14 KO'd me right on the spot. So that death wasn't too bad at all. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't record either of them because uh, I usually only record when I'm about to some kind of a milestone or when I'm doing something dangerous. And I uh, honestly thought there's no way I was going to die from that. But uh, actually, my second death was a little bit more annoying. Um, as you can see on the screen, I, I did start recording after I, uh, I died. If you work on my chat box, you can kind of figure out how I died. Um, let's see here. Yeah, you're blindfolded. You wake up later in the desert. You won't be needing your water anymore. The guards throw away your water. Perhaps you should go fill up one of your water skins. Oh dear, you are dead. So, yeah, I, um, and, that, and you see there, I had 10 hours on the account already. So that was a little frustrating to die there. I'm not going to lie, but how I died, I was doing the tourist trap quest, and um, I'm only level like 29 here, and I had to fight this level 47 monster um, for the quest, and what I did is I talked to him wrong, so instead of me fighting him, the guards, they caught me, and they, they um, basically just teleported me like five squares west. So yeah, I didn't read my chat box, I didn't notice they took my water skin, so I went back and fought him properly, and uh, I was letting my HP get kind of low, and... He eventually got me down to 9 HP and I was just about to eat and the desert heat comboed me out and KO'd me for 9 so yeah I had no I wasn't recording because you know I was like there's no way I'm gonna die but they stole my water skins and the desert heat comboed me out so that really did suck so yeah that was really frustrating because uh, I did have 10 hours in the account like I said I had 18 quest points 200 and some total so uh, I did restart again um, see I'm gonna take it a lot slower this time the last two times I've been rushing back trying to cut corners and stuff uh, I was doing Tourist Trap, if you're wondering, to get, because you get uh, two experience lamps, and it would have got me from 1 to 25 agility. And then I could have done Grand Tree from there, but this time I'm going to go train agility uh, normally. Even though um, Tourist Trap is not a hard quest, I shouldn't have died either way, but I'm just not going to be doing that quest for a while this time. This time around, though, I think I'm just going to rush Slayer. I don't know exactly how that's going to work. I don't know if I'm going to need to do Thieving or um, Windsor Tot or Agility Pyramid for money, but... I'm going to try the Rush Slayer. I'm going to do a Road to 99 Slayer series this time just because Slayer is the thing I enjoy most in this game. So if I do a heavy Slayer emphasis, that should help with uh, redoing everything, make it a little less painful. But yeah, this intro has been a lot longer than I wanted it to be, so uh, let's just get into the episode. So I also forgot to mention the most annoying part to dying a couple more times is that I did actually put three bonds on that first account that died, and then another bond on the other account, and now another bond on this account, so that's five bonds that I have wasted already, so that's been the most annoying part for sure. So I went ahead and got five thieving right away from a man. Uh, for those of you that don't know, you don't have to run through White Wolf Mountain anymore to get to Ardoin. You can just use your minigame teleport to Castle Wars. So if you get five thieving and you want to go get your cakes, just minigame teleport to Castle Wars, and then you walk up this path. It's really safe. There's nothing that will attack you. Then along the way where I am now, there's a spot where a super anti-poison one-dose respawns. So I'd recommend uh, grabbing a few of these, just hopping around and uh, getting a few of those as those will help you a lot in the future. All right, so I got myself a bunch of cakes and I'm just getting my 10K from the Stronghold Security so I can go ahead and buy a bunch of mind runes and a fire staff so I can start doing all the uh, beginner quests. All right, so the first quest I'm doing is the Witch's House quest. Uh, I'd recommend everyone starting off their hardcore Iron Man by doing the Witch's House quest. It'll get you to 24 hit points. It's really easy to die on 10 hit points. Um, I actually almost died during the Stronghold Security, but anyway, if you're wondering how to safe spot this with one magic and 10 HP, just do what I did. You stand in that corner and then you walk underneath him. And if he walks in that corner, then you can just walk 
um, west one step and he'll get caught in there. Uh, it actually worked in the first try for me. Usually it doesn't work. So here's a little better example of it. Uh, I try to attack the spider and then walk underneath it and he goes west instead of north. So basically all you do is you just go back, you do it again, you just keep doing it over and over until he gets uh, caught in the north spot like that and then you just walk there and you're good to go. And then the last two you can just say spot over by the ball because um, they're a lot bigger. But here we go, here is Witch's House complete, 6,325 hit points, all the way up to 24 hit points in 11 combat. So yeah, like I said, this is probably the most useful quest to do right off the bat. Alright, so instead of doing Winter Tot or Agility early game, I'm going to try to sneak by on uh, trading cats in for death runes and then selling the death runes to the shop for some GP. So yeah, now I need to go work on the Artie Diary 1 before this cat is fully grown. Alright, just doing Fight Arena and Trino Village quick uh, as I'm over here as these quests are very useful and very easy. Uh, I got from 1 to 29 attack from doing this quest and also 15 to 20 thieving. Alright, and here is Tree Gnome Village completed, 11,000 more attack experience, all the way up to 35 attack, but more importantly now we can use the Tree Spirits to get around the game. Alright, so I'm over here, so I might as well just get this out of the way right now. I need to go to the Wilderness for the Arty Easy Diaries. Let's get ready to log out. Okay, there's someone there. <laughs> um, I think I'm like 20 combat, so... Anybody that's like 70 combat could attack me, and I'm only like 20 some HP, so I could get one hit, so this is kind of scary. Uh, hopefully there's nobody waiting for me at this world, or else I am absolutely screwed. We got my password, right? Alright, no one here, so we're good, we made it. And there is Plague City completed. I always forget this gives a decent amount of mining XP. Uh, there should be, yeah, 1 to 15 mining from that. So, yeah, pretty nice. And now on to bio Biohazard. And here is Biohazard completed. A couple of the even levels from that. Um, now I got all the quests completed for RD Easies. Now I just have to go and complete all the rest of the tasks. All right, and there is all the easy tasks complete in the Arduin Diaries. Such a useful diary to get done right away. Not only does it increase the amount of death runes you get from your cat from 100 to 200, it also gives you unlimited teleports to the Candor and Monastery, um, which is, uh, let me put this lamp, I need level 30, I'll save it for agility or something. But yeah, it gives you unlimited teleports to the Candor and Monastery, um, which is close to the Tree Spirit, so you can teleport from there. It's also close to the Fairy Ring, so you can teleport with the Fairy Ring eventually once I get that. But yeah, if you don't know where to trade in your cat, it's just in uh, West Ardoin here. Just run all the way over here, and there's a few NPCs called civilians, and then you just use your cat onto them, and they should give you 200 death runes. I'm not sure exactly how much GP these 200 death runes are going to get me, but hopefully it's enough to last me so I don't have to get GP another way for a while. Alright, so I'm just finishing up selling my death runes. I was selling 50 per world, and yeah, it's going to come around to about 20k per cat, so that's actually... It's actually not too bad. So basically what I want to do, I want to get to Sand Crabs as soon as possible, get my HP and my defense up to at least like 50 because uh, these last two deaths have been really annoying and easily avoidable as long as I get my HP and my defense up. So I'm going to get to Sand Crabs as soon as possible. So I'm just starting Recipe for Disaster here so I can maybe do a couple subquests and get some gloves and maybe some climbing boots or something. But yeah. Uh, I'd recommend everyone do that because it's really easy to die at low HP, low defense, and no gear. So, yeah, I wouldn't really risk running around at 10 HP. I know it's really good for winter top, but it's just so easy to die at 10 HP. Alright, and this is going to be the waterfall quest completed. Uh, another great quest to do in early game. The yeah, other is 13,000 attack and strength XP, getting me to 40 attack and 30 strength. So I'm just doing some agility here to get to 25 agility so I can do the tree or the grand tree quest. Uh, 
Not sure if I should have went to the Alcarid course for the last five levels here, but I've done that course before. It's really annoying and you fail a lot at level 20, so I figured I'd just stay here and it, it didn't take too long. So yeah, there's 25 agility, so then you can now go ahead and do the Grand Tree quest. So I was just watching Slayer Music 1's quest guides, great guides by the way. And uh, in Grand Tree, he was trying to tell you to safe spot in the rocks over there. And in my experience, this is a little bit better of a safe spot. All you have to do is run straight past the demon and uh, go into the hallway here and he can't chase you. I guess I can show you quick if you're not too familiar. But um, you go down the ladder right there and most people will tell you to safe spot in those mythro rocks over there. And in my experience, like I said, it's just a little, a little more messy. So I just run through and go to the hallway and safe spot it from there. All right, and this is going to be the Grand Tree quest completed. Just such a great quest for early game because of the XP rewards. Um, 8,000 agility XP getting me all the way up to 31 agility from 25. And then uh, 18,000 attack XP getting me to 44 attack and then some magic XP as well. I almost forgot, but now I can use my experience lamp on agility. So that should be a couple more agility levels. So nice, yeah, 33 agility. Alright, so I got to the same combat level as my account that just died a few days before, so I thought I could try boosting for a couple emblems to see if I could eventually get the rune pouch. And uh, it didn't go very well. I got myself as a target twice in two sessions of doing this um, before getting banned from Bounty World for skipping too many targets. And as you see, I didn't, I didn't get an emblem. I'm not sure exactly what I did wrong or if you just... I, I'm not really much of a PKer, so... I'm not sure if it's just random if you get an emblem or not if you kill your target but i don't really need a rune pouch for a while anyway so i guess i'll just try it again another time all right so i want to get 31 quest points so i can go into the champion skill to buy a rune sword so i'm just going to do a couple easy quests for uh, some quest points and here is romeo and juliet done um, for five quest points and this is going to be goblin diplomacy quest done for another five quest points and that should actually be enough to enter the champion's guild up 32 quest points now i can go ahead and get that rune sword yeah so last time around i grinded fire giants until i got a rune simi and in my opinion it's just not worth it it took a long time to get the rune sensor for me so i'm gonna get the rune sword this time because i saw a couple streamers use the rune sword and um it's actually not that bad and you know it's guaranteed it doesn't take any time I probably spent more money more money in mind runes to kill the fire giants than i did for this rune sword so yeah, this, uh, this should last me all the way until the Dragon Scimitar, honestly. So that being said, I think I'm going to end the episode here. So we ended up with 32 quest points, and uh, here are the stats. Um, I, I did actually end it weird because I had a bunch more clips recorded, not a bunch, a few more. And um, the video is already getting over 13 minutes, so I figured I'll just end it here because um, usually I keep them around like 9 to 11 minutes. So this is already getting very long, so I figured I'd end it here and use those clips in the next video. So yeah, there are the stats. 32 quest points, not 27. But yeah, uh, a lot of progress, I'd say, in the first episode. You know, 32 quest points is quite a bit, and uh, also got the rune sword and are able to wield it. So I'm sorry for the, you know, the early game content. I know some of this is like, really repetitive for you guys, but um, yeah, I gotta do it. And uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you guys next time.